Okay, this is the this is the standard uh, the short wing configuration, and uh, the this is actually a pre-series prototype, but it doesn't really differ anything. Uh, the prototype series that are possible to buy, they have a better quality foam, uh, so that's that's the difference. There are also tiny uh, improvements made yeah. in the production. But just so if you wonder why is that not there or something, it's that's the only reason. I think one of the one of the only things are the looking for the, the, uh, the this one in the front. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But, uh, that's not a problem anymore. No. We don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So this is the short wing and uh, wing mounts. That's a big question. It doesn't include a wing mount method in the RB jet. You're free to choose. And uh, yeah, you're free to choose. Some glue their wings together and everything to make a rigid wing, and that's fine if you want that. It, uh, it, this is this is actually I think the same span as a sticker. One point fifty five. So it's manageable, I think. Um, Personally, I want to be able to choose and also pack it down in, in smaller size. So I have an uh, O-ring method. This is actually the first one I made with this wing. So this is just a piece of ply and I will screw some the black with an O-ring, rubber O-ring. So, and then you can just slide it out. And I have the same kind of method on my extension, so I just use another O-ring and mount them on. Mount them on. As you mentioned, uh, I, I heard some people being a little bit afraid of using just a rubber band or an O-ring, but there are, there are no really forces on this, this joint. It's just to hold the wings in a tight position. It's no, no for, there will be nothing pulling the wing out outwards. Yes, the, the, the wings are held in place aerodynamically 95% by the CEF tubes, the carbon tubes, because they are the ones that take up the forces, uh, not the O-ring. The O-ring only takes the forces in the lateral direction, and that's almost none. So you can just have a small piece of tape, and they will, it will hold the pieces together. Uh, you can use several ways. You can use tape on the wing, you can use an O-ring. Some people have talked about Velcro on both sides, and it might work. You can use... Uh, uh, Sassen had a uh, version on his Skywalker with uh, uh, tapered uh, channels for his CF tube. So he has pushed the wings together using uh, friction, nothing else, and it worked. That could probably be made to work this way also. If you have strong enough that magnets, it would work. The, the reason I like O-rings is because it, is, it has a physical stop. Uh, but it's still a flexible, ma a flexible mount. It will never happen this in flight. But if you if you land and it, uh, the forces are taken up by the O-ring. Uh, that's why I like it. I have designed uh, some 3D printed uh, joints that actually does the ex exact same thing as this nylon screws. <laughs> this doesn't look as good, uh, and they are on shapeways, and it's. Uh, or you can download it and print it yourself if you have a 3D printer. It's, uh, you can download it for free. I would like to mention also about we talk about the, the, the wing being built up from several parts, uh, the wing panels, the extension, etc. It's also a good thing if, if you break something, if you uh, damage uh, a wing panel, it's quite easy to, to buy a new one on a range video, and they are really cheap. So you can buy. You could actually buy a double set of wings if you want to glue the extension. I'm not sure if they have released the foam for it. Okay, but they, not, but they will be. They are, they are just out of stock at the moment. Uh, so, yeah. so that's, that's like basically the short wing. Uh, I can mention how I have installed this. Should I do that? Yeah. In the front, I have uh, the bed drape. I have these placed quite far back. Um, if I have a GoPro here, I may have to relocate batteries or take fewer batteries to get a correct, correct center of gravity. But that's it's depending on how, how you do the installations. This works really good for me. This is 2,300 3, uh, 3S batteries. Uh, I have a range video OSD. Um, I don't use the stock location for the current sensor because that was in the way <laughs> for my batteries. I don't use the stock location for the GPS, which is here, because I uh, thought this one worked better. So we have used that uh, 
uh, successfully in the prototype, but I thought that worked better. I also had to make a little cutout in the in the hatch. The hatch, uh, it's uh, uh, it's held by magnets. Uh, you can mount the magnets in two ways, either vertical or horizontal, like I have. Of course, if you mount them vertical, it will be much less force. Uh, when we designed this uh, the first time, we didn't know how, how strong magnets will be used in the production, so we, uh, we uh, made two versions, this mount versions possible. Um, but I used this, and this is just standard Hobby King. This is the pr prototype, so this is not the included magnets. This is just what I have. And this works, this works well. It doesn't ever loosen, it fits quite tight. Uh, in the production, there's two tabs on the side here that uh, makes the hatch sit a little better. I made uh, on the prototype, uh, we noticed that the, the hatch is falling down in the front. Yeah, uh, so that's one. That's uh, one of the things that's fixed in the in the uh, in the, the production series. Here you can see the ESC and the motor and the motor screws. I have uh, replaced this motor two times. Three different motors I've used. And uh, as you can see, if I just this ESC is very easy to take out, and I have this circular cutout. I don't know if it's you can see it, but I've made uh, the cut a little, a little larger, so it's very easy to just put in the ESC and it sits there. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I have the uh, video transmitter, and the cable goes up there. And you see nothing here, so I did that of course prior to gluing this panel. And uh, the Scherer uh, RC receiver is in here. I made this a lid here because I want to be able to access it. Uh, and I used PPM sum with RSSI for a uh, cable in here to the RBUSD. I made channels here to go, go up here for three other channels so I can have the pan tilt and maybe also a video switch. That's how I did it. It was be before I glued the fuselage together. I made another channel here that enters on the other side here for the video, for the camera. Uh, and it's very easy to do because it's kind of a lot of foam so you can make channels between them. I thought it worked very really nice because then I don't have to have a lot of cables rooted inside here. They, they are inside the foam. You had a really neat installation in that way. Yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, that's that's how I installed my my short wing. Uh, should we look at yeah. seconds? Yeah.